Mr. Pilgrim! I'm Ramona's first evil ex-boyfriend. Wait! We're fighting over Ramona? Didn't you get my email explaining the situation? I skimmed it. Mm -mm. How, how did you get involved and how did you get this role? This is such a great role for you. I just, Thank you. I, I, oh, yeah, sorry. no, I met we, him. We just, I met we, him. <laughs> <laughs> I just met with Edgar and he basically told me the first time we met that he wanted to make this with me and it was so exciting for me, I couldn't even believe it. And I was 18, I think, so I was a little too young. But he said, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna make, be able to make it for a few years, and you're only gonna get older. Yeah. And I was so, I was just so happy that he, he believed in believed, me and wanted yeah. to work with me. And I loved his films, and I, w I would have done anything with him. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. You know, you can't. They just can't say no to Edgar Wright, and you know, working with Michael, and especially on these, on on these comics, just, it was just such a fun opportunity. Okay, ladies. What was it like for you guys to be the, you know, the warring girls and? It was so, I mean, everyone got along so well. I mean, I really can't imagine a better group of people to be hanging out with for like seven months or something yeah. that we were together training and shooting. So it was it was really just a pleasure and awesome and so exciting because I think we all knew we were making a film that wasn't quite like anything else out there, you know, and that's something that people were really going to enjoy. From Superman to these really funny comic roles that you've been taking on, how did this happen? What, what? I'm, I'm trying to uh, punch the lights out of people to, you know, have a different image of, of me. No, it's, you know, it's all a, a great honor to be working in this film, and uh, it was really exciting to play something that was completely opposite of Superman and, and be funny. And the cleaning lady, she cleans up dust. She dusts. It's, uh, it was almost like filming a live action film. Uh, for the shoot and then an animated film during the edit. It was like such a, a huge piece of work. We obviously tried to, with the adaptation, stay true to the books. Um, you know, when we veered off plot-wise, sometimes we would always try and keep the spirit and the tone. Um, but we wanted to, you know, like, um, feel like a world that people will recognize. And, yeah. you know, even just from the sounds of things that are like part of <laughs> our everyday life or even some of the sounds from games are things that have been with us for like 20 years or more, you know. Yeah, yeah. And Edgar's so confident and clear and in control about what he wants that really I felt very freed up to have a lot of fun and just fool around and play him. Every new frame was supposed to look like a new panel of a comic book. So like every, it was, it was so specific, almost to a point, like to a level I'd never experienced and to a really challenging point, no. but it was, a lot better than not knowing where the f the camera is. <laughs> oh, you can say where the fuck the camera. Where is. the fuck the camera is. Yeah, that's <laughs> what, God, we can it. say that. On where no, but guys, not curse <laughs> in front of me. Uh, at least you had a clean mouth during the film, and it. Did I? Yeah. It was clean for you. Yeah, clean she just says you. she yeah, says like fluff, fluffy kittens and yeah, stuff. Shut the it, front door. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a lot of movies come out and they they don't quite make it, or the, or you know, they just don't hit the mark. Uh, but I feel like this movie, there's something in it for for pretty much everyone. It's just everything in one. You know, you've got comedy, action, drama, romance, and music. It's just a, it's it's amazing. That was epic. Next time, we don't date the girl with eleven evil ex-boyfriends. Seven. Oh, that's not that bad.